Hi, I'm Milad Kambari. Welcome to this training course. During our upcoming 20 hours or so, my plan is to make you guys engage in the process of a complex car modeling project, give you step-by-step -step commentary, and also let you experience the challenges I originally had to face. This course consists of four primary sections. The first section is modeling our McLaren GT from scratch. But it's easier said than done, right? You have to invest a lot of time in this section. For this process, I'm going to be using 3D Studio Max, but I believe nowadays with tools being more standardized, you can just follow along using your preferred software of choice. My first goal is to create a base representative mesh to get all the main proportions and the scalings right. And in order to do so, I start by using reference images and blueprints together to help me along the way. Finishing this introduction, we will have a pre-visualization model to look at and also we will have prevented overspending efforts on certain areas that later may need a complete change and overhaul. After that, I will start to slowly add the second layer of details and deep dive with the subdivision modeling techniques to get the final look of our 3D model. In the second part of the course, I will be unwrapping our model inside Unfold 3D. It goes without saying that Unfold software itself is very robust, simple, and offers fast working tools for unwrapping. But on top of that, I have also simplified this process by dividing our model into various manageable parts to unwrap the essential components of our model. After this phase, we transfer the prepared model to Substance Painter and in this software, we start texturing different parts of this car. At the end, in the final section, we will import our model back inside 3D Studio Max and start the lighting and rendering process from creating a lighting studio to the final look for the presentation. In the rendering part, I will cover both Corona render engine and also V-Ray render engine independently and go through this lighting process and material finalization based on the two workflows that they offer. So it's up to you. You can decide whether your primary engine is Corona or V-Ray. You can prioritize the way you want or you can just watch them both. I hope this training course will be useful for you artists who want to finally take a bigger step and model a more complex project that is going to take hours and hours of creating new stuff and also problem solving.